Yeah, once we got down there, we're like, this isn't a no-brainer. Don't they have the biggest football stadium in North America? Or second one? Second biggest? But I think Michigan, Michigan yeah. Michigan, the big yeah. house is... Yeah, well, they don't call it that for nothing. Yeah, yeah. but it's it's 80,000, and it's, it's what's, crazy. What did you go to? You've obviously been to a football game. Yeah. What's that like there? If I were to give kids advice on where they're going to pick to go to American college... I would heavily recommend going somewhere who has a very good football team. Yeah, good advice. The best experiences at Notre Dame, aside from the hockey, were at the, these football games. Like, I had buddies come down, yeah. like, to take them to a football game, and they got a, Just U, to take them there. a USC night game. And, like, they, they tell, like, this this is the, that was the best experience of their life. Like, they were, like, little fanboys. No. Yeah, like, it was. it's, I mean, it's crazy. Like, campus is only 8,000 people, right? So, it's not that big. But which a lot of them come close to fill in the stadium. Right, but when you're down there, it's like, so the stadium safe, sorry, the stadium. <laughs> you're an educated guy. Yeah, you're educating. <laughs> it's, it's allowed to happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the stadium uh, seats 80,000, but, like, for the tailgates out front, like, it's probably, like, well over a hundred thousand. That was going to be my next question. Was is there t was there tailgates? Oh yeah, the <sighs> tailgates are the are insane. What's the key to a good tailgate? I've never done it before. Other <laughs> than the beer and the can. liquor. I, I was going to say the stuff that you can say. <laughs> uh, can if you say. are of age. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if you're of, if you're of age, I think people know like what yeah, it takes sure. to have a good time. But for us, it was all the athletes would always tailgate together. So we'd. We'd have like uh, it's called pole five. Like if you ask guys where their favorite spot on campus was, they'd like pole five. What that? What's pole five? So that's like the pole in the parking lot right outside oh. the stadium. And we'd have like four or five parking spots. Yeah. Sick. And guys would pull like the guys with pickups would park their trucks there. Chuck yeah. the tailgates. Down. Yeah. Chuck the tailgates down. Guys would be sitting on the trucks, standing on the trucks. Like Brian I have Keelan. pictures of me like standing on the trucks, which we had to stop because. <laughs> It's not okay, but it was a good time. All the athletes are there. Like it's a much just, better way to learn by doing it, right? Yeah, better experience. Just cool. yeah. playing different games and stuff like that. So yeah. you got and you guys played an outdoor game there, didn't you? Yeah, like Chicago had the Winter Classic. Yeah, so Fuck, Chicago played Boston in the Winter Classic. Yeah, and then a week later we played Michigan. Oh, so did you guys get to go to the game then? Yeah, we went to the game. That's it was badass. New Year's Day. Wait, was so Hughes on Michigan then? Like that year? Like, uh Quinn yeah. Hughes was there, I think. Yeah, we played against Hughes. Was he was he in college one or two years? We I played against him. I think he did get the outdoor game. Does he play two years? I thought he did. Because I know the guy that went first overall this year, Hughes, didn't yeah. even go to college. He just went to the yeah, under his 18. Brother, yeah. yeah, the development program. Nonetheless, I cut you off. Talk. Keep going about the Winter Classic. Keep yeah, going. Fuck yeah. No, it was just a super like fun time because obviously it was... We usually like have games or something going on. And I'm a, born on New Year's day no way yeah january 1st of 98 oh. so we all obviously new year's eve we were allowed to like go out and enjoy ourselves um and then new year's day was the winter classic which was fun and then you guys we, went to that obviously yeah and we, had, we had tickets for that yeah um you guys get a box or anything or are you just no we were just we were slumming it <laughs> just <laughs> members of society there, yeah, yeah just members of society <laughs> exactly uh no but it was an awesome awesome experience especially to play a week later because all my family was able to come up and yeah oh, that's bad. do all of that so it was great what was the crowd like when you guys played they said there was like twenty or thirty thousand people there, but it seemed obviously empty because it's an yeah. eighty thousand. Who'd you guys play? Michigan. Michigan. Just said that. Yeah. yeah. So fuck, man. Will yeah, they you're good. All right. So twenty, thirty thousand. It just felt empty. Yeah, pretty much. Like you, they filled probably like, a, like one side, I guess. Oh yeah. Um. But yeah, it was just obviously there's so much space what? i was just gonna say like obviously you'd want the crowd to be full but the experience and all of that is like yeah, the actual outdoor playing game. outdoors especially yeah. you know you come from canada i know they obviously play fucking pond hockey in the states yeah but it's just something about canada that that's what people think about right so it's the ability to go back outside to like your kid days again yeah no it was it's pretty sweet too like we got to get ready in the football locker room i was room. gonna ask that where'd you get ready yeah football locker room like touch the like Notre Dame signs that they always touch like play like a champion today yeah. which is like famous there and like walk down the steps and out the tunnel so it was a cool experience I wanted to ask this because one of my questions was did you get dressed in the football locker room and now that I know that you did Rudy's one of my favorite movies is <laughs> in the in the dressing room like is Rudy's stall like is it uh -huh. is it picked out anywhere or is it just not even a thing it's just like that's where you got dressed yeah i don't know i wasn't focusing too much on it but on the rudy topic we met like rudy you like met the, the guy. guy yeah we <laughs> his movie was uh rudy rudy by rudy who was playing in that local theater and um hmm. we had a like a play a, 
Like, no, it was just like a movie. The movie was just playing in the theater for some reason. Oh, like a movie in theater. In the movie theater, oh, I was yeah. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. The play. No. Not that there's anything wrong with going to see a play. Yeah. I was just confused. I was like, fuck yeah, let's go to this play tonight. <laughs> yeah, Nothing movie. wrong with that. I go to a play. There was a little kid who, um, his name is Rudy, who's been battling cancer. Uh, he's an awesome kid, and he was affiliated with our team, like, in so many different ways. Like, he'd come on road trips with us. Yeah. Sick. And, like, all this stuff. Like, he had a little slogan, like, rally for Rudy. And, like, this kid would have chemo, and then he'd go play a soccer game and be the happiest kid in the world. His name was Rudy? Yeah. The kid? Right. Okay. Yeah. So, wow. And he was awesome. So, anyways, chemo. we went to the movie with little kid Rudy, and then... We went to the movie Rudy with little kid Rudy, <laughs> and then real Rudy was, was there after the us. movie, and real Rudy was like hoisting up little kid Rudy as all of us were around <laughs> chanting like Rudy. I don't Rudy. even know what the fuck's going on anymore. Yeah. This is all happening in the movie theater? <laughs> yeah, in the movie theater. <laughs> what a premiere. Yeah, yeah. so that was awesome. <laughs> what a That's great story. Amazing. No, you, you probably don't get to tell that story too often, you know. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't even think about that. But there's a lot of Rudy's going on. Holy shit! Like I said, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Yeah.